Okay, what I'm doing now is working on the design that goes under my eye, and what I've chosen to do is use a softer eyeliner for this, nothing with a sharp edge or harsh because I'm working in that delicate eye area. And this is just a Max Factor crayon eyeliner. You could use anything that's like a pencil uh, or a twist eyeliner because it's going to be creamier and softer. And so I'm just going in underneath and leaving some white. I just have to show you what's going on behind me. See the cat? See the cat? The cat is trying to steal my feather boa. It's hanging on my monitor. <laughs> What are you doing back there? Nan, what are you doing? <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm drawing in my eyelashes underneath. I'm just using little short strokes and putting them in an uneven pattern. So you can see I've gotten pretty far with the lashes underneath. And I just took the Mehron palette black. It's a little bit more liquid. And I'm just drawing in. Okay, so now I'm putting some color on my lids, and I'm starting with a Dazzle This. This is Barry M. It's their number one, I think. It's a very light pink. And I'm just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and dabbing that over the entire lid as I start, and that'll help set. Okay, so I thought I was recording and I didn't. You'll see I have some pink on my lids now, and that's a combination of two colors, the light pink from my Mehron Paradise palette. Laid a layer down of that, and then over that I put a layer of Pinky Swear, which is this awesome pink color from Glamour Doll Eyes. One layer of that tapped on with a flat shadow brush, and now I'm working with Fuchsia, which is a MAC pigment, and to darken up that pink, I'm just laying down a layer of that. Okay, I'm just touching up the black lashes that I've drawn in underneath. I'm just taking my pencil brush and a little bit of black shadow again from that sleek palette and I'm setting. Okay, so now I'm just drawing in my little parts that go with this look. Okay, so now I'm just going back in with my Mehron palette, the liquid black. I'm filling my little hearts in. Okay, and you'll see my love affair with glitter continues. This is a mixture of pink and holographic glitter. And I've already laid down some of that LA Splash eyeshadow base that I like to use to make it st st sticky. Make the area sticky so the glitter will stick. So I'm just doing what I'm doing is putting some glitter down below my eye. And I'm using the Silver LA Splash liner here. Because it has a fine brush, it's easier for me to control where I want to place my glitter. So I'm laying down a line of the liner first, and I'm going to go back in with my small brush and some silver holographic glitter, and just dab along the area where I laid down the Another stuff. detail is just a little bit of glitter in my heart. Taking the silver liner again because I can control it. And I'm just laying down a little heart inside of the heart. And then I can take the mixture of the pink and holograph and just dab that right over the little heart. Okay, the next thing is a liner, and I'm just going to use my liquid liner, Urban Decay's Perversion, and draw a thick cat liner. I'm just going to hook it up to the black that's already there and bring that right onto the lid all along the top of the lash line, right down into the lash line and then to the inner third. Okay, what I'm doing now is going ahead and creating a shape on my lips, kind of dramatic, kind of heart-shaped. Uh, I'm doing this, but I'm gonna finish up my lips before I go ahead and finish my eyes, which will include false lashes, mascara, and lining the waterline in white. So I'm just taking a black pencil and creating a dramatic, funky shape. And then what I'll do is go back in with my Mehron palette and fill it. Okay, so before I go in and fill with the black, I'm just gonna clean up with a little bit of white. Okay, so I'm gonna put on some false eyelashes. Now I'm gonna put on two pairs, one underneath in this lash area that I've drawn on and one on the top. The first set is these Ardell's. Thank you, Bethany. I wanted to see one video. This is one of the prizes. And you'll see it's got a pink glitter on it. And I think this is perfect. So what I'm gonna do is put these underneath in the black line it up there and I'm using duo adhesive the, the dark I'm just gonna plunk that right into the false lashes so you see I have the bottom lashes on now 
and I'm going to put on the top ones right down to the lash line and then into the black liner okay usually what I do after I get my false lashes on is I use my heated eyelash color which I've already done and then I take mascara and blend the two sets of lashes together however I noticed something really cool when I was putting the color on my eyelashes I noticed that I got pink on them and rather than put black mascara to cover that pretty color that's under there, I'm going to actually take a spoolie. This is a Sonia Kushak spoolie. You could take a spoolie from leftover mascara, just save it, wash it. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm spraying my Mehron palette, that pink that I used for the lid, and I'm going to take the spoolie and I'm rolling it in the color. And so now you see I have color on my spoolie. And I'm going to actually use this as my mascara, as a color for underneath the lashes. And you'll see that it still bonds the lashes together, but I'm adding color to that black. So instead of plain black, I have pink, like a pink mascara. So there you have it, Presto Changeo. Finish up the look by lining my waterline with black, and then I put on my neck ruff and my wrist cuffs and a feather hairpiece to complete the look. And this is my Knave of Hearts. Let me zoom in so you can see. So big dramatic eye covered brow and then a false eyebrow drawn in and then a crease and smoked out a little bit and then a giant pink lid with hologram glitter in pink and silver and then a little bit of hologram glitter underneath the eye a drawn in set of false eyelashes and then another pair of false eyelashes plunked on underneath there there's false lashes here and instead of using traditional black mascara I took a spoolie with some of the pink in the Mehron Paradise palette and brush that onto my lashes instead. White face set with Mehron setting powder for oil control and just to set everything, keep it from running. And then black lip that's matte in kind of a heart shape. And that completes the look. I hope you enjoyed it. This was, was out of my comfort zone. I'm still under the Gaga effect and had to try something completely different. Please let me know what you think. I had a lot of fun creating it. And as always, I'm thankful that you stopped by my channel. So have a great night and I'll see you soon.